Live right now to Mayor Olivia Chow and Speaker Francis Nunziata. They're making a housing announcement this morning. Let's listen in. It's my top priority. I've talked about making life affordable for residents here in Toronto. I've spoken a lot about the need to build new affordable housing. I've also talked about making the whole approval process fast, reliable, transparent. We're working on it. We have a team doing it. And the third part is about rent supplement. So you've also seen that I have to secure some funds for at least a thousand plus units of rent supplement so that people could get a little bit of help to rent uh, a room or apartment uh, that they may not afford, be able to afford. Uh, we are supplementing the rent. That's called the um, housing benefits. This fourth piece of my plan is to make more affordable housing now by building, by, this part, by buying uh, existing homes. It's an acquisition program. And buying existing home means that the tenants and the folks living there right now could have affordable rental forever. You've heard of heartbreaking stories of seniors that have lived in a building for 30, 40 years. They lived in a community, and now all of a sudden they face evictions or they face 25% rent increase, and they are forced to evict, to, to leave, and they, they are forced to move away from a community that they've known so well, where all their friends and all the shops are really right where she or he lives. And they are not able to find affordable rental uh, easily. And it keeps people up at night, is making renters um, very anxious. And we do know over half of Torontonians are renters. So we know that Toronto is losing affordable housing 14 times faster than we're building it. So the fastest way to create more affordable housing is to buy buildings in partnership with nonprofits, cooperatives, and land trusts. By helping purchasing new units, we can stop rent increase, rent evictions, dem evictions, and keep units affordable forever by taking them off the private market. Today, we want to showcase a great example of this. We're here at Wikwaman, uh, Ontario's oldest and largest urban indigenous housing provider. They are celebrating their successful acquisitions of 12 homes here on Q Street and most recently, 11 homes on Hotspur Road. Through the city multi-unit residential acquisition, we call it MIRA, this program, we are enabling Wigwamen uh, to acquire market rental properties, moving quickly to permanently protect these affordable rental housing. This year, the city awarded uh, Wickwoman uh, $2.2 million in this MIRA program, which they have secured 11 permanent affordable rental homes on Hotspur, which is uh, at Bathurst and Wilson. And these homes are in addition to the 12 homes that they've secured on Q Street through last year's MIRA's proposal call and uh, through the uh, 1.5 million from Way, uh, Ms. Way Brick uh, Development Corporation. Since 2021 launch, Mira has funded not-for-profit agencies to secure 261 permanently affordable homes in neighborhood across Toronto. In 2023, we are able to provide funds for 121 units 
That's 121 homes, affordable forever. Um, really benefiting a whole lot of renters. Now, unfortunately, when we're going through the application this year, we uh, wanted to give more because we found at least five more nonprofit housing providers that brought forward at least 129 more affordable homes. We couldn't fund them because we ran out of money. And that's 129 homes that we could secure, just, but we can't do it because we just don't have the money, which is why I was up in Ottawa. The, one of the reasons, not only do I, am I pushing for a new deal for Toronto for people, we're pushing for more funds so that we can expand this acquisition program so we can immediately provide affordable, forever affordable homes um, uh, to, to residents of Toronto. And I've communicated with the, I met with the federal housing minister, and I said it's the fastest and cheapest way to keep housing affordable and uh, increase the affordable housing stock. So um, any, anyway, uh, I want to note that the minimum of 20%, so it's one out of five Funding allocation goes to the indigenous communities to support these housing organizations. So, and this is part of the city's ongoing commitment to reconciliation. This programs, um, through this program like Mira, we're not only enhancing city's affordable housing supply, but also contribute to the vitality of our neighborhoods. It keeps neighbors together where they belong. And rather than having them having to leave uh, after they spend most of their lifetime in a certain neighborhood. So with more funds for Mira, we can secure even more homes for people and keep them affordable forever.